Hi everyone, this is Aya from For You Neo, and today I'm going to be taking you through how to upload and edit textures. To start off with, if you already have a texture that is already placed, for example, on the floor, and you wanted to place a different flooring, you wouldn't have to remove what you already have there. You can place textures on top of each other and it will cover what's already there. So in order to upload a texture, you can find an image um, from anywhere. It can be from Google, from a retailer's website, Pinterest, Instagram, does not matter, just as long as the file is converted into a JPEG or a PNG file. So for this example, I'm going to show how to find and upload a wallpaper texture for this kid's bedroom. I have found this wallpaper right here that I feel like suits the, the room that we have. So what you want to try to find when you're uploading a texture, um, especially in the case of a wallpaper, is try to find it with like a stock image flat kind of um, option that will make it so much easier for you to work with and to upload. So all you would have to do is just download this image and like I said, make sure it's as a JPEG or a PNG file. And then you would come into the texture tab that can only be accessed in 3D mode. And over here, you would click on to upload texture. From there, you would click the upload now button and you would select the image that you've downloaded. So I will just press on open and it should upload uh, very quickly and it'll be in the uploaded tab in the textures. And there we go. So the uploaded tab. And now we have this wallpaper here. Now, keep in mind when you do work with a texture that does have a pattern to it, you will have to resize and we'll also show that today as well. So I will click and drag this on the wall where I want it to be. Now, this is where I said that it will look a bit too zoomed in. And we have this tab on the right hand side show up for us and where it says number of tiles is where we will then have the option of resizing. So for this case, I will try a five, five, five. And uh, like I personally look how I like how that looks and I feel like it looks pretty similar to how the wallpaper looks from the retailer's website as well. So you can see how realistic it can really be and it's a great way to really show real life items in your designs and bring it to life even more. Um, you can obviously resize it to make the pattern smaller, to make it larger. Uh, yeah, whatever works for you. And if you did ever want to come back and edit a texture later on, uh, you can just click on where the texture is, for example, with the flooring and then the edit pen tool up top. And then again, you will have the option of resizing from over here. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful and happy designing.